Blood Groups and Importance of Blood Donation Welcome students. Today we will start our session with Blood Groups and Blood Donation. First, what is Blood Group? It is a process of identifying blood group of a person. It is an agglutination reaction. What is meant by agglutination? Agglutination is a reaction between antigen and antibody present on RBC and plasma of blood respectively. Blood groups were classified into various types based on type of antigen present on the surface of RBC. These blood groups are discovered by Carl Landsteiner. There are four types of blood groups observed in human beings. They are blood group A. RBC having antigen A and antibody B in their plasma. Blood group B. RBC having antigen B and antibody A in their plasma. Blood group AB. RBC having antigen both A and B. There is no antibodies in their plasma. Blood group O. It doesn't have antigens on RBC, but have both antibody A and B. Now, what is blood donation? Transferring or giving blood from one person to another person. This process is known as blood transfusion. During transfusion, two main persons will involve. One is donor, the person who is giving blood. Second one is recipient, the person who is receiving blood from donor. Blood which is transferred during transfusion should match between donor and recipient. In this blood matching, antigens and antibodies will play crucial role. A person blood group should receive blood from A group and O group. B person blood group should receive blood from B group and O group. A B person blood group can receive blood from all groups like A, B and O. Hence, A, B blood group is known as universal recipients as it does not have antibodies in the plasma. O person blood group person should receive blood only from O blood group, but it can donate blood to all remaining blood groups. Hence, O blood group called as universal donors as it don't have antigens on RBC. RH factor is another important molecule to identify whether the person is RH positive or RH negative. If RH antigen is present on RBC, then the person is said to be RH positive and vice versa. Blood transfusion. Before blood transfusion, the blood should be tested whether the blood is matching between donor and recipient. After testing the blood, it will be administered to patients through veins near elbow. It is recommended during accidents when there is a loss of blood from the body surgical operations and anemic conditions blood donation each and every person should donate blood for every three months because after three months new blood will produce conditions to donate blood the age of male and female person should be between 18 to 60 years person should not suffer 
from any diseases like fever, hepatitis, leukemia, HIV, etc. Why do we have to donate blood? To save life, to give life, to protect life. Blood banks. After collecting blood, it can be stored in banks called blood banks. Not only blood banks, some voluntary organizations are involved in this process by conducting blood donating camps. They are Red Cross, Rotary Club, Lions Club, etc. They will store blood by mixing with chemicals called sodium citrate or heparin. This will act as anticoagulants.